for instance, the only reason I usually ask about people not to clean the door is they tend to fall off. Yeah, that's right. Um, I've found these little bottles before, yeah, so but not with the labels. This is hematotrophin. It is, there's actually some still, it's still in there. They used to use it for um, dilating pupils. Oh my gosh. Except every once in a while the, the, the pupils wouldn't retract like they're supposed to after a few hours. So they stopped using it and they've gone to other drugs. Oh my gosh. But that's wow. uh, from like teens and 20s. Wow. They got so much stuff here. And there's various cosmetics mixed in, in there with lungs. Sharpen, bottom. I don't know if we got this one, but this one has a top on there. You mean you can uh, perceive the smell of the medicine. You can I smell, remember you can smell those something. kind of smells. Something is out gassing in here. If I could find it, I'd throw it away, but I haven't been able yeah. to narrow it down. Sinus congestion for hay fever. <laughs> Wow, these are amazing. Silver carbonate. They used to use silver for all sorts of things. <clears throat> um, that is amazing, though. This is silver picrate for vaginal suppositories. Oh wow! Oh my gosh! Well, that's uh, people used to have yeast infections, and that was one of the ways they used to treat it. Which that's that? what I was thinking. They were alive for infections. Mm. Yeah, that's for sure. But it's, wow, uh, like I said, they use silver in all sorts of things. Mm -hmm. Those are freaking amazing. That bottle is really nice. This awesome. bottle is a cork top. It's got the original cork top in it, number four. It's got embossing on the side, stuff inside the bottle, and then the embossing it says S. B. Kitchell's laminate, 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 laminate. I'm not really sure. Anyway, it's got the back label for the directions. It, that is just an amazing, and it's got this one for more directions. And uh, anyway, it's got writing on the bottom too. But this right here, the condition is really is good. very awesome conditions. Yeah. Yes. And that brain's not real either. The what? That brain's not real either. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that one. Yeah, the brain. What about this? Um, that we uh, found at an auction, to tell you the truth. Oh, okay. So you I don't know, know if it came from a pharmacy? No, it didn't come from a pharmacy. Oh, okay. we, got it, we got it out of an auction. Okay. But it's just kind of neat. That one's a pretty good label, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And that one, too. Mm -hmm. I mean, all, they're all good labels, but... Well, these things... Ours are different labeled. Each yes, each, it's each different. Each of these have different... This is toluene. Ours is actually on the front of the glass, not actually into the glass well it's actually the, it's like got some, glass on yeah, it but this one here for instance it's got glass on it but it was applied but it applied and put it in that spot yeah <clears throat> then see the, ours are stuck out uh, yeah. they're actually on the front of the glass mm -hmm. That's a nice label. This one's cool. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I never seen one like that. Wow. This one is camphorated opium. Oh my gosh. Only various abbreviations. Man. Look at these ones. Mm -hmm. These are put into the glass too. Like we don't have nothing no. like those. We have the ones that are on the outside. Mm -hmm. Those are awesome though. This same sort of thing. The label's covered over in glass. Wow. So it's... And what kind of bottle is it? I mean, does it... It's basically just a, just uh, a standard stopper. This um, atropine is, used to be called belladonna. Belladonna. Okay. And uh, they use it for... Mm. It will slow the heart. Oh, my gosh. So they used to use it in restoratives. Okay. A little bit of it, you know, slow your heart down, calm you down. Yeah. we um, never seen a bottle like no, this small in that, that condition. Especially in a good condition like that. Yeah. This. 
Amazing. You got them from all the pharmacies that were older and, and they closed, right? Yep, and then collectors coming and trading things to us. Okay. Uh, okay. Thank you. <clears throat> yeah, it's still there. They call them hypodermic tablets. See, like it says right there, hypodermic tablets. Okay. And all it was was because they were small little tablets that fit into a little glass tube. And these like are a little syringe. pills inside here. Mm -hmm. Yep. In this case, it's not too exciting. It's just caffeine. Okay. okay. That one's caffeine. And then you had one that had strychnine, right? Yeah. Then we uh, strychnine tablets. Wow. For uh, and I think they used to use that for cough suppressant and uh, for people who were paralyzed. Oh my gosh! Wow. And they probably use it for other things at the front of it, all sorts of. And they uh, come in the five pack. Yeah. And, and uh, they come. In the does it come? They come differently. No. Nope, or it's just all the all same, same one. Thing. It's all the same. Okay. It's all the same strychnine. In this case, strychnine sulfate. Okay. But it would come in uh, a box of five or six tubes. I think the. Uh, I think this box here has... No, it's only set up for five. Yep, yeah, five. But the tubes are a little slightly bigger. Wow. Those are so cool. I like the condition of... Me too. Everything. Wow. Never in... We've been collecting for a little while and we've never seen those. I'm not, I'm not even yeah, not. at the place we went and seen the other yeah. stuff. Yeah, you I mean, you're not going to find that anymore. They don't make them anymore. No. And, uh, <laughs> this is Novocaine, how it used to come originally. Wow. With a rubber stopper in the end. Wow. And they would just draw the, the Novocaine out of the... You just put your needle on the top and yep. then... And this section is all poison on top? It's pretty much poisonous. Uh, there's benzene, arsenic of lead. Back in the day, the pharmacy was also your uh, agricultural store. Okay. So they'd sell your veterinary gear, and in this case, arsenic of lead was an insecticide that they used to use. It was oh, okay. very good insecticide until they discovered that it uh, basically left arsenic in all of the soil underneath oh, it, wow. yeah, whatever you sprayed. Oh my gosh. So they stopped using that. Wow. The oh. one that's Bromo, what is exactly what was used? Oh, actually they were just used for settling your stomach. Milk and magnesia, Bromo Oh, salts, okay, so it's like the that. same thing. Yeah. Okay. Because um, I've found quite a few of those. Oh yeah. It's, some people like the blue glass this is a little I love bit more rare. I don't know what we don't know what the devil is actually in this. Oh, it didn't. There's um, something in there, but can't uh, find it anywhere. There's no label. Oh, okay. Well, what's the writing? What say? Keys. Keysby and medicine. Maybe it's the brand. Keysby yeah. and medicine. It'd be the the brand, but what it what it actually is? Yeah. Who knows? Wow. Um, eclectic oil. For internal external use, turpentine, oil of tar. Oh my gosh. You know, have a teaspoon, it'll good for you. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got all these, and these um, these were just medicines, right? Uh, various sorts of medicines. The thing is, is strictly any medication is a poison. Yes. If you get too much yes. of it, it'll yes. probably kill you. Um, formaldehyde fumer. <clears throat> They used to fill that with formaldehyde and put a flame underneath it and fill your house with formaldehyde. Oh it's how my you, gosh. It's how you uh, fumigated your house. Oh my gosh. Things. Of course, then the people would move back into it first. And God knows why. And that's opium back there. Um, opium syrup. Yeah, that's just the bottle. There's unfortunately no good stuff in it. Anymore. Yeah. That's from the 1870s, mm -hmm. circa? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we sold. There's a bottle over here. Look at these exactly. Uh, this one here. Uh -huh. This was ergot liquor. Um, it was a hallucinogenic, made from uh, rotted wheat. Oh my God! I, but we had another bottle that looked just like it. That was a tincture of opium, and it was almost full. Oh my gosh! I just don't know what it was full of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it was from somewhere around the 1880s. Amazing. Wow! So amazing so much stuff that they had back then that I wish that was still around that we could yeah. see like this. I mean, you don't see this stuff anymore. Well, no, and there's things like, like for instance, uh, everybody knows what eye drops are these days. Yes, yes. But before there were eye drops, they had eye cups. I remember those, and I remember they come in blue too. Mm-hmm. 
-huh. And they basically you put something in there and just and you just turn it, it upside your down for your eyeball. And, <laughs> and it's supposed to go yeah, in. And somewhere, someone since then decided to put some eyeballs in there, <laughs> chocolate eyeballs. In that's, it. Just, that's cute. We left them in there because it's amusing. That's funny. Oh my gosh! And look at these ones, Jose. Uh huh. You have nice stuff here. Yes. Oh really, my gosh. really nice stuff. This is the best one that we've seen in a long time. I can't even explain what it is. Awesome. It's old Toledo Public Health Scale. It actually weighs your weight. <laughs> so I'm going to try her out. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, mine is 15, 16, 17, 218. Now let me try it. Yeah, <laughs> 171. I'm losing weight. I'm good. <laughs> oh, look, they have numbers on them all the way over. Mm hmm. Yep. And there's a little. The 24, 34. There's a little book here. Tells you for what the various sorts of maladies, what, which one or mix of ones to use as a remedy. Gosh. Man, some of the stuff they thought of when they were making this stuff. Look at that. Oh my Look gosh. This little book. Shows you for the various types. So this is that part there tells you about what each of the different numbered ones are. Okay. Here, like for instance, indigestion of uh, or bilious use. condition. Yep. Tells you which ones to use. There's for heartburn, yep. flatulence, acute indigestion. Wow. But it all is done by the numbers. Wow. And then the numbers are here. Yeah. Tells and you then, what each one what each one is supposed to be used for. And then it says here, number one, number five, 13, and 14. Mm -hmm. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Can you believe that? Mm -hmm. And that was found at that, um, the store too? No. No. This is actually what we got from a collector. Oh, okay. Mm. Are you selling it all separately or? We got it all, from, we all got to... it from different collectors because these are one set, these are the Humphrey set. And then you've got the uh, cool These guys. Set. Okay. Wow. <laughs> I just. All there. And I'm like. <clears throat> little tiny pills. Yes. Wow. I have some cake decorations that aren't that big. Right? Yes. And most of these you see are still in the original paper wrapping. And they haven't even been up, and that's nope. it does so cool. Yeah. Do you sell sell each one separately yes. or together? Yeah. They're so we sell okay. them those. The Humphreys we sell for twenty dollars a piece. The others we sell for ten dollars a piece. That, that air purifier is also basically it's a nose gel generator. very pretty when it's uh, plugged in. That one has not been plugged in. I don't want to have it explode or take out my electrical system. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I do not blame you. That's a unique piece. Yes, it is. Well, it's very pretty too. With uh, They put it on, mounted it on such a nice piece of wood. Yes. Perfect. Nice. Oh my gosh. We're a purifier. Wow. I think that's, that's the coolest piece that... Yeah, actually, I found seen. one on eBay. Oh, really? So, um... And I, actually, I found one on the internet that actually showed it in, showed it in operation, showing the tubes mm -hmm. all fired up and glowing. Wow. But, you know, as I said, it's, it's an ozone generator, so it's not something I want to be around when it's on. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> That's true. For athletes, for the treatment. Wow. Well, this room, it's packed with a lot of uh, it's antique. It's a little while to look in here. Pharmacy bottles. It's... For any collector, I think it's this is heaven. Yes. You can find any. No, I wouldn't say anything, but there's a lot of things. In well, there. a lot of things. You're, yeah. 
various medical instruments we picked up. This, oh, I actually show you this one. I'm going to, because it's so much fun to show off. It's all okay. right. Yeah, no problem. This is called a tonsil guillotine. A tonsil guillotine was used to remove the tonsils in a procedure called tonsillectomy. Removing the tonsils was a treatment for current throat infections. This was popular in the late 1800s, fell out of favor in the early 1900s due to the high numbers of people who experienced heavy bleeding and recurrent sore throats. Basically, insert it over the over said tonsil. Uh huh. Stick the fork in it so it can't get away. Actually, after it's cut, so that the yeah. piece of meat doesn't fall away. And then uh, the two rings just sheared off. Oh. Oh my gosh. My personal opinion: there's not enough whiskey in the world to keep me in the chair. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> Back then, that's probably all they used is whiskey, and then you were sitting there whiskey crying or, or opium. Oh my gosh. I've seen those uh, medical devices more like uh, torture devices now. Yes. <laughs> well, the thing was this. Every doctor and dentist had their own idea about the tool that just did things the way that they wanted to do it. Yeah. So that's why there's so many different types of tools. I've seen one like that before. Yeah. Wow. And that one says something on it. That one right there. Yeah, Rexall. Okay. Wow. They, you know what leeches are, don't you? Yes. Yeah, that's what those are for. Yeah, they're using them again now. Yeah, that's what I heard. Yeah, they're yeah. very good at localizing, you know, reducing swelling in one small mm -hmm. spot. Uh -huh. well, rather than drugs which wow. affect the whole body. All the lead is all the place. The, yep, it's soldered into where it's at. Yep, you can tell by all the solder marks. Mm -hmm. All in the little creases and everything. Mm -hmm. So that came out of the original thing. So that means it's probably 1800 something. Well, no, we believe the sign was made somewhere around the turn of the century, about around 1900. Oh, okay. Uh, and like I said, the frame was added on sometime later. Yeah, but it's still cool. Cool. Something to be oh, yeah. saved and brought from that time because. Well, there ain't no real place that's going to actively have all that stuff yeah, still. It, and it uh, was hung in the pharmacy there for a good 50, 60 years. Oh my gosh. And it never got broke or chipped or nothing. Nope. And sadly, the guy who bought it is going to haul it down to uh, Texas and hang it in his stairwell. Well, that's cool, but hopefully he can get it there. Yeah, well, that's the problem. Is That's why it's still hanging there. He uh, bought it and then immediately had a stroke. Oh, so, uh, that kind of played all his plans back, and now he's trying. He's finding that it's not so easy to get shipped down to Texas. Wow. Oh, I never noticed that box. Look at this box. Yeah, right.